What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. Tonight's video will be a response to a comment um, that was actually posted in one of my most recent videos asking if I'll show you guys how to update the kernel in Ubuntu or an Ubuntu derivative or an Ubuntu based distribution. Now keep in mind there's a lot of different ways to accomplish this task. Now, what's so great about Linux is you can take something, for instance, like updating your kernel, and you can accomplish that task many, many different ways. Um, the way that I'm showing you is by no means the only way to do it, um, or even the best way to do it. It's just the way that I do it. Um, and it's not even the way that I do it all the time, but it's just an easy method that I think just about anybody can do. And Linux doesn't have to be hard. You know, and there's a large group of people that say, you know, if you can't um, install Linux from a root shell or if you can't compile um, your desktop environment and all your software and so on and so on, you shouldn't be using Linux. Um, I think that's crazy. I think those people are living in a world where, you know, Unix was a system that hackers used and that was it. And that unless you fit into that, um, you know, elite crowd that you shouldn't have any business using uh, a Linux based system. I think, you know, those days are over. I think those people kind of need to get off their high horse and they need to start helping people because if they want to push forward the free software movement, they're not going to do it by being an elitist. Um, didn't really want to get on a soapbox there, but there's just been stuff floating around now recently in the, uh, in the community that has kind of really caught me the wrong way and you know I'm, I'm on YouTube to make videos to help people and I can guarantee every one of these people that quote unquote calls themselves an elitist didn't start out that way um, so anyway uh, I want to show you guys how to update the kernel again on an Ubuntu based system my host system here is elementary OS Luna so I've got a VM powered up now this is another great example elementary ships with Ubuntu 12.04, which is an LTS release and a really old kernel. I believe it's 3.2. Um, and of course, we're approaching on 3.10 right now. So how do we update the kernel? Well, if you're on an Ubuntu based system, they've got this really nice um, website here, which is a um, kernel PPA. So as you can see, we've got all the different versions. Um, so right now I'm running on my host system 3.9.4 and we've got a couple of RCs in here for 3.10. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the kernel version you wanna use. I suggest sticking with a stable kernel. So we've got 3.9.4. Now you're gonna select three packages depending on your architecture. So if you're on a 64-bit system, which this particular VM is, it's a 64-bit VM. So you're gonna select this top package here, the one, um, that says headers, right? Then you want to select the one that says all.deb, and then you're going to select the one that says image. Okay, so you've got headers, all, and image. Now, if you're on a 32 bit system, you know, it's, it's the same exact thing headers, all, and image. Click on all three packages, download them. Once you've downloaded them, all right, they'll be most likely in your downloads folder, which is um, the default directory unless you've changed it. So what you're going to want to do is open up your terminal. Now you can actually click on each one of these and use the software center to install them, but a very easy way to do it all at the same time. And you know what? Let me fire this up for you guys. Is put yourself within the directory that uh, you've downloaded all three packages. Then you're going to uh, type in this command, sudo dpkg dash i and then asterisk dot Deb. All right. Now you're gonna hit enter. It's gonna ask you for your password. And there we go. So now it's gonna install. Looks like the headers first. It's gonna install your Linux headers. Now while this is going, again, <clears throat> this is gonna be a fairly automated process. It's gonna install all three packages, and at the end. It should also update your grub file. Now a word about, a, about kernels. Not every kernel is going to agree with every system. So with that in mind, 
you should never leave only one kernel installed on your system. I know a lot of people like to purge kernels and you know I do as well when you know oftentimes if you have the same system up and running for a while and the kernel updates multiple times always leave one solid kernel on your system and I generally recommend unless you have specific problems with it leave the kernel that came with the installation on your system okay because if anything goes wrong especially if you you know say 3.9.4 for whatever reason doesn't agree with your system you could always boot into your old kernel and remove the new one okay so that's just a word about kernels never leave just one installed always leave uh, one other one and I usually suggest the one that comes with the kernel okay so this process is done it um, updated your uh, grub so it's recognized the new kernel and we still have the original one that came with the um, the installation which would be 3.2.0-41 alright so here is the new kernel we're gonna reboot this VM and we'll see if uh, everything went well now I've got a lot of kernel videos uh, on the channel um, I show you guys how to compile kernels on an Ubuntu based system. In fact, I should probably update those videos. It's pretty old. I think they're from 2010. I also have some kernel videos on a Fedora based system. Um, I have some Linux kernel videos. So I've got a lot of stuff out there. Um, I sh I'll probably make an updated uh, kernel uh, video. Okay, so here we go looks like I have to probably recompile uh, guest editions now that we updated the kernel for the VM but nonetheless let's, um, let's open up terminal here and we'll do a uname dash a r alright here we go we've got the new kernel installed 3.9.4 64-bit simple as that guys um, you know you don't have to compile a kernel from scratch there are advantages uh, in certain circumstances to doing so. Um, however, it's not necessary. You don't have to be a Linux genius to update your kernel. And you know some of the reasons why maybe um, could be hardware compatibility. Um, it could be you know there's a, a lot of really great features that are re introduced into um, the Linux kernel all the time. If you follow um, you know Linus on Google Plus or you follow the news with the Linux kernel, you see that they're doing some great things with it all the time so you know you may well oh, get a little problem here in the VM it's probably a VM related issue I haven't received any type of uh, problems here on my elementary desktop but anyway so you know there could be a number of reasons why you want to update your kernel um, if you're using an open source video driver you may want a newer version and so on there's a lot of different reasons but for those of you who are curious about updating your kernel on an Ubuntu based system um, there you go. Very, very simple. That's one method to do it. Very easy. Uh, also, uh, when you're watching my videos, I really don't care on how to pronounce, pronounce things. For some odd reason, the Linux community is crazy about pronunciation. Um, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, I don't really care. Um, you know, so don't freak out if I pronounce something wrong. Gnome, Gnome, it doesn't really matter. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. If so, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you have a question about um, this process or the video, uh, by all means, um, leave a comment. Uh, I do read them all, and I try to respond to as many of them as I can. So, as always, you guys are great. I appreciate you watching, and until next time, I'll, we'll check you guys later. Thanks.